The invocation, reflection, and closing prayer will be offered by the Reverend Laura Eaton of Christ Church Episcopal Church here at Calumet, and she will be assisted by her son, the Reverend Jess Peterwin. Psalm 23 will be proclaimed by Sue Dana, controller of the village of Calumet, and my name is Dave Geisler, president of the village of Calumet. Please refer to the back of your programs for a list of those who have contributed to this afternoon's ceremony. Many thanks to them. There is one change in the printed program that you have received. Immediately following the invocation, we will sing Amazing Grace, led by members of Noteworthy. During the reading of the names of those who perished at the Italian Hall, I would invite those of you who lost a family member that night to come forward when their name is read and to accept a rose from the wreath in remembrance of them. Finally, at the conclusion of Silent Night, those of you who wish are invited to process to the Village Hall to view the Italian Hall tragedy exhibit and to record your thoughts in a book of remembrance. 100 years ago today, December 24th, 1913, was a day filled with contradictions for the people of Calumet. On the day in which the angels proclaimed peace on earth, goodwill toward all, Calumet experienced the most violent day in its history, resulting in the deaths of 73 innocent men, women, and children. On the most joyous night of the Christian calendar, the families of Calumet experienced a night of unthinkable sorrow. On one of the shortest days of the year, the hours seemed endless as mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, frantically searched for loved ones among the living and the dead. The one question that they must have asked the same question that we ask today when violence erupts is, why? And they, as do we, would have turned to their God for solace and understanding. see 100 years ago we are remembering the souls of the 73 children and adults who lost their lives in the lot lost their lives in the Italian hall that day but there was a baby born that day also and that baby carried all of these souls that day into heaven and were in the arms of God. So let us pray. Healer of every ill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. Yes. Okay, so we're going to recite the Lord's Prayer together. So uh, please bow your heads and say it with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> 